Donald Trump has proven himself immune from conventional wisdom and politics, but as he assumes the office that only 44 others have occupied, are there historical lessons he might find helpful? Joining us now is New York Times bestselling author and historian Jay Winnick. Jay, you've written several books focused on pivotal moments in history, and at some point, presidents really have to face something they've never anticipated before. Noting how Trump sort of lacks a clear ideology, how do you think he's going to face some of these pivotal moments? Well, I think the first thing for him to remember and for him to bear in mind is that the first rule of being president is expect the unexpected. He's going to have his hand be put on the Bible by Abraham Lincoln. Well, Abraham Lincoln, after he got um, inaugurated, he assembled a gaggle of reporters and he said, well, boys, your troubles are over, mine have only just begun. Little did he know that a war would, a great war would commence that would consume 620,000 lives, 18 million lives in today's parlance. So the rule of thumb is, whatever you think you're preparing for, the agenda will change and you'll be hit by something different. You've also written about the isolation of the presidency at certain points where the president has to make a critical decision. Most of the time, he's got to make it on his own as commander in chief. Noting that Trump has a pretty good relationship with his children and really trusts them the most, how do you think that's going to play into him making some of those tough decisions? Well, certainly I think it's the case that he'll be leaning on them. He'll be leaning on them both for emotional support as well as for intellectual advice. But the fact of the matter is, is no matter how gregarious a president may be, i.e. how gregarious Trump is, no matter how involved his advisors or his family is, no matter how ardent his supporters are, he's going to find when faced with some of the tough decisions, whether it be with Russia or ISIS or Syria or the common man, working man at home, that the White House is a forlorn and often very lonely place indeed. Donald Trump's confidence, though, seems unmatched, at least so far during the, during the campaign. Who do you think in history sort of matches that, at least in terms of his connection with the electorate, and uh, who do you think he can learn from? Well, I think it's good to have confidence. Confidence is good. George Washington had confidence, mm -hmm. although after two terms of being president, in which, he was, in which he was elected unanimously both times, he was ready to go. Um, I think it's safe to say, though, and <clears throat> while confidence matters, if he could learn one thing, Donald Trump, it's that humility matters as well because he will not know the next great crisis looming around the bend and things don't get resolved as easily as you'd like. So confidence matters, so does humility. Last question really quickly, Jay. Any other presidents you advise Trump to study? Um, certainly Lincoln. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's taken an interest in Ronald Reagan and that makes a lot of sense. Reagan had a big, bold agenda. He was underestimated by his opponents and his critics. So I think he'll find something in Reagan. Um, I think he would find something in FDR, FDR who transformed the nature of America. Um, Donald Trump wants this to be a transformative presidency, and I think he loves his country. He's a natural politician. Um, he can accomplish significant things. He should learn from history, though. Very interesting stuff. Jay Winnick, historian in residence for the Council on Foreign Relations. Thanks so much. Hey, thanks for having me.